In this example, we're being asked to solve this formula for C. CT squared equals 0.0, or 0 0.3T minus AC. This problem is a little different than problems we've done before because we notice that we have two different C's in the equation. Now, in the past, we've solved problems where we have uh, more than one of the variable that we're solving for. And we needed to, so something like 3x plus 2 equals 5x plus 7. And we would need to get the x's on the same side, which was great. Um, and then we'd have like terms that we could combine things together. However, because we don't have numbers in front, we actually have variables. These really don't end up being like terms in quite the same way. Um, and so we need to be a little bit more cautious. However, we still need to do something to go from having two C's to just a single C that we can then isolate in order to solve our equation. We do have a process where we can do this, and it actually works for a problem any time that you have more than one of the variable that you're trying to solve for. The first thing that you want to do is to go ahead and get those um, terms with your desired variable on the same side. and you want everything else on the other side. So in this example here, notice I have a CT squared on the left and I have the AC term on the right. We need to get those on the same side. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move the AC term over. Uh, it's a minus AC right now, so if I add AC to each side, then I'll be able to move that across the equal sign. On the right-hand side, I'm going to be left with just 0.3t is all that's left. And on the left-hand side, I'm going to have ct squared plus ac. And I can't really put that together anymore because they're not like terms. However, I do now have condition 1 met, and that is that everything on the left has a c in it, and everything on the right does not have a c in it. So that's really important. Now, because each of the terms on the left-hand side now has our desired variable in it, we can factor that variable out. So factor out that desired variable. Variable. Here we go. So in this case, because each of these terms has a C, we can pull it outside. Um, and then we put in parentheses what's left behind. So this is a T squared, C times T squared to get the CT squared, plus C times I'd need an A in here to get the AC term. And this will be equal to 0.3T. This is great because now I've gone from having more than one C in the equation to now I only have a single C in the equation, which is the variable that I want to get alone. So now all I have to do is get rid of everything else that's on that same side of the equation. Because I pulled the C out as a factor, this C is being multiplied by the T squared plus A group. So our last step is to divide by what, was, by what is left in parentheses in order to get the variable alone. So in this case, it was being multiplied by t squared plus a, so I'm going to divide by t squared plus a on each side. Here the t squareds plus a's cancel, leave me with my c by itself. And on the right, I have 0.3t on top and t squared plus a on the bottom. And this is a nice rational expression. Uh, the c is by itself, it's the only c in the problem. Uh, remember that because I've got a plus in the denominator down here, I am not allowed to do any canceling with those t's. Um, and that's, so that's as far as you can go. So this process here is a great concept, and any time that you have more than one of the variable you're trying to solve for, you're going to need to go through this process in order to finish your problem and isolate your variable.